Hello viewers this is an activity based video in this video you will learn about firstly steps to observe cells under a microscope and secondly basic components of plant cell and animal cell so first activity is to observe the basic components of a plant cell with the help of onion peel cells so materials required is we need a compound microscope we need onion we need dropper brush scissors forceps slides cover slips and and one die sephronip now coming to the steps steps slice an onion and take out one of the thick leaves from inside as shown here second step is to use forceps to pull away the thin lining from the inner surface of the leaf third step place it flat in a drop of water on a glass slide as shown here add a drop of methylene blue solution or sephronin in my case i have used sephronin solution place a cover slip on it children this is the cover slip we have to place it very gently with the help of a forceps on that onion peel so that no air bubble can get trapped under the cover slip and next step is to observe the slide under the microscope and draw what you see and then we have to label it sparks so when you will observe the slide under the microscope at 40x magnification of compound microscope you are going to observe these things you are going to observe outer thick cell wall nucleus will be somewhere in one corner darkly stained body cytoplasm will be visible even vacuoles will be visible very faintly so these are the basic components of plant cell now let's learn about the basic components of animal cell also and for that we are taking the cheek cells aim is to observe animal cell cheek cell under a compound microscope so what we need for this we need glycerin methylene blue dropper toothpicks filter paper glass light water it can be distilled water or normal tap water needle brushes and one compound microscope so these are the materials required now coming to the steps first step is that we have to gently scrape the inner side of the cheek using a toothpick which will collect some cheek cells second step is to place the cells on a glass slide that has water on it mix the water with the cheek cell using a needle and spread them third step add a few drops of methylene blue solution using a dropper place a cover slip very gently use blotting paper to remove excess of the dye or that stain next step is place this glass slide on the stage of compound microscope and view it in the same way as in case of onion peel cell when you will observe cheek cell under compound microscope your observation will be large number of flat to irregularly shaped cells they will be seen the cells they do not have thick and prominent boundary means they do not have cell wall and you know animal cells do not have cell wall however each cell has very thin outer covering which is called cell membrane it's visible in this picture also third observation will be a deeply stained nucleus is observed somewhere near the center not exactly at the center but somewhere near the center of each cell and it is visible in all these cheek cells no prominent vacuoles are observed in this cell and you know this is an animal cell so animal cells either have very few one or two or they are absent so in this case vacuoles are not present so on the basis of these observations we can conclude that animal cells have very thin outer covering called cell membrane nucleus is present somewhere near the center and there will be no cell wall and bigger vacuole like structures this these are the actual pictures of onion peel cell and human cheek cell taken from the compound microscope and here you can see that differences the differences between the animal cell and the plant cell they are clearly visible in these two slides I'm sure the basic structural and functional differences between the animal cell and plant cell are clear to my viewers now. Mm -hmm.